driving test day today. I kind of can't believe it that in like four hours I might be a qualified driver. It's quite scary. I kind of like part of me is really excited and then part of me is like shitting it, but like I think it's gonna be okay. I think it's gonna be fine. I just if I just don't like mess up anything majorly, then I'll be fine. <laughs> um yeah. So I guess I'll update you if and when I'm a qualified driver. <laughs> Guess who is a fully qualified driver? That would be me. Yeah, I passed my test with two minors. Can you believe it? Um, they were both on observation, which I kind of kind of knew I'd get picked up on, to be honest. Um, but I thought I'd failed, actually, because I did a really dodgy lane change, and I thought I might have bottled it from that, but I did not. I'm kind of in shock. I kind of can't believe it. It's amazing. Um, celebration time. Celebration time tonight. Celebrating with a big cup of tea. Somewhere you can take food out and return it for a coin and you can just read it. breakfast but I think today is going to be a day that I don't <laughs> don't do this don't ever follow my examples because I'm very unhealthy and I'm not a good student um, always eat breakfast I need to find a pair of socks as well I have to like check my socks now because they all have holes in the, in the heels so I have to check them before I put them on to see if they have holes in Wearing holly socks was never, never the one. There you go, it's an interesting little snippet into my life there. Hope you enjoyed that. Um, I'm gonna go in like 10 minutes maybe. So yeah, that's good. I guess I'll see you later. because I've got like two candles burning just down here. I don't think I'm even in focus. Yeah, today has been good. Today's been a good day compared to the other days recently. Um, yeah, I went to uni this morning. I actually went to uni this morning as well. I didn't just sort of not go. And then I went for tea at my sister's house, which is always good. And yeah, I'm just gonna probably go to bed in a bit catch up on some YouTube and then go to bed I think. Um, ready for a day of being here tomorrow, probably just editing, um, doing some last bits for uni on Friday because I've got a big thing on Friday at university so yeah I'm also gonna go on some, go on like a CV handout session on Friday as well so I've got to print off some CVs, finish my CV and then print some off. Um, that's what's been going on today and that's what's going on tomorrow so yeah, I guess it, I'll, uh, I'll check in tomorrow, so, yeah. Good morning. Uh, I'm still not awake. It's only, it's like quarter past eight. I have to leave in like an hour and five minutes or something. But 
I'm just so tired. I'm not a morning person and I'm trying to learn how to be one because I'm in at 10, three days a week. But today is looking to be a good day. I've got class this morning, so I've got my script class 10 to 1 this morning. And we're doing actors workshop, which I'm not too enthused about because I don't really want people reading out my work. I'm meeting my boyfriend, going CV handing out in Manchester because I don't have a job yet and I need one. Badly. And then we're going ice skating with my flatmate, with one of my housemates and her boyfriend. I'm just so excited. It's going to be so much fun, even though I can't ice skate for shit. <laughs> Video, Alex is cute. Nope. Are like an entire week of vlogging um, because this week has been weird it's now Saturday and I basically I did miss an entire week I've vlogged like bits here and there so like there's a clip from Monday night which I'll put in here because you can it's just Lewis talking about my YouTube channel could you please explain your thoughts about the Amelia Rachel YouTube channel <laughs> It's a phenomenal channel. You should all hit the subscribe button, which is there or possibly there. It's a. It's a talk now. It's a wonderful time. You should watch it. It's enjoyable content. I'm not lying to you. Amelia, am I in the vlog? Yes. Yeah. Subscribe now. So you'll get good content. But it's just been a very odd week. Like, I I accidentally managed to get myself stuck. I can't find another bloody sock. I accidentally managed to get myself stuck in a bit of an existential crisis this week, um, where I, in which I couldn't stop thinking about death and big questions like that. Um, basically that's kind of what's been going on. Um, I filmed a few videos though, like, make, like actual videos, like makeup tutorials, which was quite fun. Um, and I'm actually heading home today, except I stubbed my toe and I've got like a massive can't see it, but I've got a blood blister on my toe, and I'm hoping it doesn't pop on the way to my sister's, because that's going to be awkward, isn't it? Um, I'm heading to my sister's in like 10 minutes, got to get all my stuff ready, and then we're heading home. Um, our younger sister is in her school play this, um, this evening, she's doing Mary Poppins and she's Mrs Banks, so she's like elite, so we have to go and support her and all that stuff. That's kind of everything that's going on really. Um, I don't know, I'll update you later, I guess. <laughs> uh, so, I went home and then proceeded not to vlog for like three days. It kind of just goes out of the window, really, a little bit when I'm at home. What the hell is going on here? Just because, obviously, I don't go home a lot right now. God, those were my Halloween ones last year. So it's kind of nice when I am at home to sort of... Those are really nice, actually. Why don't I wear them more? actually see my family you know actually spend time with them rather than like shoving a camera in their face I have to tie my hair up today and I can't wear like huge earrings when I have my hair tied up because they make me look a bit weird but it does mean I'm taking out my uh, my bloody little stars today I was really like apprehensive about having to take them out because they're really bloody hard to put back in but I figured change is good when this is like the only amount of change you can actually handle in your life. How the fuck do I get these out? I can't remember how I even got them in, to be honest with you. They're really nice earrings though. Hoops though, I haven't worn hoops in ages. For some reason, hoops in my ears don't like stay straight. They sort of stick out like this. They look really weird. So I might find a smaller pair actually. Bigger the hoop, bigger the hoe. Not a very big hoe, apparently. Why am I at your house? Because. Can't stay away for more than a day. 
Um, she went to Thanks. uni. Mm -hmm. um, what a surprise. Keys. What a surprise. Amelia went to uni. <laughs> um, left her keys at the house because, you know, was it five people live there? Six? Five? Six. Six? There's bound to be someone in. There wasn't. <laughs> it's a cold day. She's a small girl. And now we're here. <laughs> Essentially. She's not wrong. <laughs> I'm very really, I'm not very good at this vlogging thing. I don't wanna I never wanna hold it up so I always end up like vlogging up my nostrils like just do it like a selfie, just go Hi guys. Hi guys. So today Today I locked myself out of my house. <laughs> Full stop. feeling when Judith Butler is literally your entire life. Uh, welcome to, ooh, sitting on my jumper, the 27th of November. Well, my November blog, blog, vlog went slightly out the window. Um, I've done like lots of random vlogging bits over the past few days, which I'll insert the clips like wherever. Um, things are just really busy at the moment. I've got deadlines looming. Um, so today is a day off uni. I don't have univers u university. Wow, I said that really weirdly. Don't have university today, so it's sort of life admin, sorting my life out, <laughs> kind of thing. Um, I've done. I've ca caught up in some lecture notes. I've sorted out what question I'm doing for my American Spaces essay. So far, I'm just about to uh, go and have a snack first of all because it's one o'clock. So it's kind of like snack time. Um, and then I'm going to do my American Spaces essay plan. Uh, not essay plan, like initial brain dump. I was kind of thinking I might do an, a video on how I write essays because I feel like it might be helpful for some people because I write essays in a bit of a different way to most people. So I might do that. Um, and yeah, I think that's the plan for today. Um, I've also got to plan all my December content because I'm not planning on doing Vlogmas, but I'm planning on doing like a video every day or something. Anyway, you'll you'll see this like in December sometimes. Sometimes, so don't really need to figure, worry about that. And it's very exciting. I've also got a massive new look parcel to open, and I'm considering filming a haul, but it's very small, so I don't think there's really much point. Um, I might just do like an Insta stories instead, but um, that's really cool because I've been waiting for that for ages. And I'm gonna go make myself some cheesy chips right now because nothing better really. For a mid morning snack. Well, no, a lunchtime snack, to be honest. First thing I'm going to say about this is that it is way too small. I did not realise how small New Look sizes ran because this is a size 8 and normally I'd fit into a size 8 but not today. The arms are so tight and it just feels very, I think a size 10 would just be better. It looks like a sports top because I've still got my gym leggings on but I like it. 
I'm not sure, um, but I think I'm gonna have to take it back just because of the size with this one. So yeah, I'll return it in store later, I think. This hole is not big enough for a head. I'm just gonna say it now. This, again, I'm not sure about, I think. I don't know, it comes down to a weird length for me. Like I either prefer jumpers to be cropped or like longer. Um, it's, I feel like it's a bit too small. I kind of like the side details and stuff, but it feels a bit too sporty for me, possibly, and a bit small, and like, I like jumpers where the sleeves like go over my arms and these just kind of stop at my wrists, which I'm not a big fan of, so I don't think I'll be keeping this one. So this is the one thing in this haul that I really wanted to work, and it does, and I love it. So it's like a rust-coloured, like, Borg, like, teddy bear sweatshirt. And I just love it. It's so cosy, it's so warm, I think it looks so cute. Just like a little bit tucked into jeans with like a denim jacket and like a nice red lipstick and some hoops. I just think, yes. And then my cha my black chunky boots. And I just think, yes, like it's the one thing I wanted to work and it does. And it's just so big and cosy and long. And it's only size 10 as well, so. I had like a stressful day and your hair just starts sort of falling out of its bun and it just kind of does this and then suddenly you look like you've got some kind of mullet going on yeah it's the look we're going for today baby it's actually been really very productive um i've done an entire essay plan what is this well, i look like um some kind of medieval man with some stupid old ponytail at the back of his neck um I've done an entire essay plan for one of my assignments. I've caught up on some lecture notes. <sighs> my boyfriend came over and I hung out with him for a bit, which was nice, I guess. <laughs> it's lovely. I'm joking. Um, yeah, I need to go to bed soon because I've got to get up for uni tomorrow morning, but I'm going to cycle in, so... Okay, that even, that just looks weird and now. <laughs> this is getting weird. So I'm gonna go to bed and I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>would show you quickly my new jeans which are from new look that I got in my new look haul that I showed you guys the other day and these are the black Dahlia high-rise super skinny jeans um, they're not quite as super skinny as I would have liked my ankles so I had to roll them up a bit um, but I really like them I am awful with jeans shopping when I find a pair of jeans I like and are comfy for me I will just wear them non-stop and I won't ever buy any more but my other black jeans were are getting a little bit worn out. They will forever be my favourites because they're so comfy, but they are getting a little bit old now, so I had to replace them. And I hate jean shopping because I am an eight in the waist, but I need a ten for my hips and my bum, and then I also need a long leg because, I mean, even still, legs don't fit me. Like, I still have to roll, I still roll them up because it's just habit now. Um, but these are a size ten, and actually I'm really impressed with how the waist fits. Like, there's no gape at the back, hardly at all. I've actually dressed a bit messy today for a reason, because today I am going into town to do a chalkboard commission that a pub in town wants me to do. So basically I'm painting, like, 12 chalkboards for them, um, with, like, menus and, like, drinks offers and stuff like that on them. I think I need to set off in like half an hour, but yeah, I've got all my initial designs in here. It's really cool. It's um, my first paid uh, lettering job, so I hope it goes well, because if it does, I can use this for other things as well. So yeah, I'm really excited. That's what I'm doing for basically the whole day today. It's going to be fun. A whole day of doing art, and I'm getting paid for it. I'm so excited. I do need to redo my hair, though, because I haven't washed it this morning. I'll do it tonight. I just didn't have time this morning. Um, and it is gross because I slept in it like this, so I need to redo it. Um, it's all sticking out everywhere, so yeah, I'm going to do that. So 
I'll see you later, I guess. I don't think I've realised really ever how much this sort of thing can take it out of you. Like, I was fine until I got on the bus and then I was just like... <sighs> and then I was going to get some food because I have a chicken breast but I didn't know what to do with it so I thought I'd get some pesto and make some pesto chicken tonight because I've got some broccoli left over so that's what I'm going to do for dinner. <sighs> I'm so tired but it's fine because I'm really happy with the work I've done today. I feel very fulfilled creatively and also financially so I'm feeling very good about things today like it's a it's a nice kind of exhausted it's a really sort of good I've earned this exhaustion you know sort of thing which is really good um I didn't sleep much last night I don't know my anemia causes my arms to itch really badly I know it's a bit TMI but like and at night I notice it like so much more because obviously there's nothing to do so I fell asleep to Gilmore Girls and then I kept like waking up and Gilmore Girls was still playing and then my laptop died. <laughs> yeah, it was a weird night. I kind of remember waking up at like 3 o'clock in the morning and texting my boyfriend like something, but I don't remember what I texted him and then he messaged me this morning and he was like, what? So yeah, it was quite funny. I think just wind down a bit and then I'm going to go make some tea in a, about an hour or so because I'm really hungry. I haven't eaten anything today, so I'm going to have a snack. Uh, I need to wrap up the other bit of Thomas's Christmas present that arrived today. And this is all it is. He's if he I don't know if he if he's gonna watch this, he probably won't, but I tried my best to make it neat and tidy and from the front and sides kinda, it looks fine. Not this side. From the, from the back, it's a bit of a mess, but it's, it's fine, you know. I, I'm not very good at wrapping presents. Tom's other one, this is a lip, this is a box, right? And I still, I still messed it up. So they're both boxes and I messed them up. <sighs> I never said I was good at this shit, okay? Bedtime for a very tired girl. <clears throat> something in the back of my throat yeah um today's been a very tiring day actually um it's a really good kind of tiring and i was just thinking earlier when i was sending off my hours to the guy i'm working for at the moment how cool it is that i get to spend the whole day doing something i love and i get paid for that which is really cool so yeah other than that nothing much else to report from today other than i'm very tired and I feel quite fulfilled. And I feel quite content and good about stuff right now. Which is a nice feeling. It's a feeling I haven't had for a while, so... Ha. Ah. Take that. Depression. In your face, anxiety. Shit me, what is that? Right, I'm gonna go to bed before I end up messing this up any further, so I will see you tomorrow. On the last day of the November vlog, it has been 
a wild time. <laughs> it hasn't at all. Um, today is actually a really boring day to be finishing it off. I've literally got university and then I'm going to meet my boyfriend and that's literally it. So, not quite as exciting as yesterday or some other days I've had recently. I need to take my hair out of these plaits because it looks really stupid. <laughs> And also my earrings stick out because my ears are really weird, so I've just got like, hoops. My god, I can't believe it, when I clap my hair after having a shower, my hair is actually still wet the next day. It's amazing. Oh my god, what is it doing today? What is it doing? It used to go really nice after I plaited it like this, and now it's just like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Right, let's go and have some breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. I'm disgusting, please. Like that, uh, the November vlog is over. Um, I hope you've all enjoyed it. It's been a fun one, actually. A lot's happened this month, and it's been a really good one. I've had some ups and downs, as always, but it's been really fun. I've had a good time. I hope you've had a good time um, seeing some snippets of November, so I guess... <laughs> I'll see you in December. Thank you so much for watching as always. Um, please leave a like, a comment, a subscribe. It all really, really helps me out and I really do mean that from the bottom of my heart. I value each and every one of you who watches these videos so much. Um, more than anything, it's just a bit of a creative outlet for me um, and I really enjoy it. So it always means a lot when you guys enjoy it as well. Um, Leave any December video suggestions for me down below and I'll see what I can do about that. Um, and yeah, I'll see you next month, <laughs> I guess.